What's happening, YouTube people? Just did a thing. I um, finally got this truck delivered. It was a little bit of a show in itself. We had a loose battery connection that we fought for an hour. Uh, but we got it, and it's here. 1992 Peterbilt 378. This thing is awesome. It's got a Detroit 60. It's got a... Uh, what a 12.7 liter in it. Uh, we had to tow it onto the property with the Land Cruiser. Like I said, we didn't realize we had a loose battery connection, but as soon as I found it, crazy started right up. Uh, so this thing is pretty cool. I'll just give a quick walk around on it. It's filthy. This is going to be part of the fun, I guess, is cleaning this thing up. It's um, 919,000 miles on it. And we're gonna use this to pull uh, Mean Green, who you see sitting over there in the corner. So we'll get rid of the sleeper, sell it, see if we can get a few bucks on it. All the airbags, yeah, they look a little dry, I guess, but not overly. They're holding air. The air system does have a leak but is one that I was fully aware of when I bought it and it is nothing more than a connection. So we'll put some tape on that and we'll uh, we'll rethread it. And that thing should be good to go. But this used to have you know either a crane or a boom on it so you can see a lot of the PTO stuff, some of the auxiliary hydraulic stuff that used to be on here uh, including this tank. So I've probably got 20 bucks worth of diesel, so I can't have too much fun with it in the yard until I put some more in there. Um, but overall, this thing is, like I said, filthy. It literally leaves, and I think is that a bird's nest up there? Um, filthy, but this thing is going to be awesome. Uh, it definitely needs new batteries, so we'll take care of that. I'm thinking about getting some of those fancy lithium batteries from the China. Uh, so, lots of stuff on here could be better, for sure, and we'll make it that way. But let's see if I can get this hood popped open. So here's the big dog, 12, seven liter. Seems to run okay. I drove it around the yard a little bit. I gotta get used to that 10 speed. Um, but yeah, did great. Not much to see here, other than this thing being filthy. I guess we'll learn about degreasing these things or getting them cleaned up a little bit. So I haven't done any maintenance to this. Uh, obviously I will. You know, it's going to be stuff like filters, fluids, all that good stuff. But this one has the setback axles. Some people do not like that. Um, very much do not like that, but I'm sort of making my peace with it. Who knows, might make it easier to steer. So, at any rate, I guess it's not too much to see. You know, oh, this is very nice. Um, I actually asked the salesman about this. What, what the hell happened to the oil cap? And he told me he would put one on there before he delivered it. He did not. So we gotta get an oil cap, but it's checking for blow by. And you can see um, a little bit of smoke coming out. I had it running just a minute ago. Um, but not billowing, it's not bad. I can deal with that 28 year old truck so let's uh let's move on to the inside so coming in here on the passenger side not a terribly much to see in here either kind of a cool truck uh, the interior is not in good shape but it is not in bad shape I, you know i did a lot of looking at trucks in this process and there were certainly many more in worse shape so the sleeper and you can see it's got I don't know what the driver called it a comfort sleeper or something like that I, I don't know anything about it uh, it looks like it's got an APU in it so I got to do a little more investigation but we're gonna sell this part anyway like I said we'll see if we can get a few bucks for it but um 
seems to be in good shape. Looks like they took whatever kind of padding was in here, and I don't, I don't blame them. Uh, one of the first things I noticed, too, is up here, if I can get this gimbal to look up at it. There is a hole right there, right there in the weather stripping. Um, so this thing's gotten a little bit of water into it, uh, but it really didn't look bad. I went and actually drove the truck in a rainstorm, and it just made you know a little bit of water there at the bottom. Uh, this seat, I'm guessing by the Bulldog, didn't come with this truck. Well, anyway. Cool shit. I think the idea is, uh, let's get all of the rubber mats out of here. Let's get the dash out of here. I'm going all the way with this thing. Um, I think we're going to put in hardwood floors, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Lots of stuff. I'd like to hear from you what you think. We'll make this as cool as possible. I'm going to make it smell better for sure. Uh, the guy at the dealership said it had been sitting for maybe a couple of years. And then there's some stuff in here. I'm just frankly don't, don't, I don't know what it does. That's all right. We'll figure it out. We'll track it down and we'll figure it out. Um, the AC, I turned it on and uh, got a face full of dust. It was neat. But it seems to work. It seems to blow cold. Of course, it's only 60 degrees today, so hard to really tell. I guess we'll find out. Um, at any rate, this is the truck. I think the next thing we're going to do is get this thing cleaned up.
So that's it. That's my new to me Peterbilt. This is what's going to house Mean Green and what's going to uh, haul our toy hauler. Um, I don't think I've ever shown the toy hauler. I'll try to get that on video soon so you guys can see. But everything from the inside is going to get taken care of, basically replaced. Um, and then we'll come back and uh, we're going to paint this thing. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to paint it. Somebody else is going to paint it. It's getting painted. It's got to match up a little bit. And that means Mean Green has to get painted too. So I'm thinking I'll probably do it because there's no money for someone else. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, uh, subscribe. we got a lot of cool videos coming up. I think you guys will enjoy.